Good morning everybody and Hi. welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today's a very exciting day. We are finally getting to see the baby. We are having our 20 week anatomy scan today. Yay! And for the first time ever, Larry is allowed to come in to an appointment with me. Since IVF going to the IVF clinic, he wasn't allowed in just because of COVID restrictions and everything going on and that still applies with the OB. So the only appointment that you're allowed to bring a partner or a companion or a friend is the 20 week anatomy scan and when baby is born. So today is that special day that Larry actually gets to see the baby and we are so excited. So I will try to film again. I don't know if they're going to let me film in there, but I will update you guys, show you some ultrasound pictures today. And how do you feel, babe? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah? Yeah. Nervous at all or just like full blown excited? No, like, uh, like a kid on Christmas day that finally <laughs> gets to enjoy Christmas yeah I, I want to actually see yeah see everything that I've been sitting in the car for for the last <laughs> eight months so. true so we're on our way and I'll keep you updated and then we're just gonna hang out today as well and take you guys along with us for that so let's go we're back in the car from the 20-week scan which went very well Larry what did you think it was mind-blowing was yeah he's so cute he was so <laughs> stinking cute so i'll give you guys the rundown and then i'll show you some pictures that we have but i am currently 20 weeks three days he's measuring at 20 weeks five days so he's measuring perfect where he's supposed to be his heart rate was 130 something which I was like, is that good? Is that normal? Because normally it was like up into the 150s, but as he's getting bigger, um, I guess the heart rate slows down a bit. And she said, nope, his heart rate is perfect. Everything is there and accounted for, fingers, toes, organs are measuring well and functioning correctly as they should. So my next appointment is in mid-April, I think a month. Wait, oh, is it already April? Mm -hmm. Didn't they say the 18th? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have an appointment soon then. It's already coming up again. <laughs> so, um, oh, I forgot to get that blood work order. I had a blood work that I had to do. Anyways, is there anything that I'm missing? There's a lot that I'm missing. Oh, what he was doing. So, when we first looked at him, his back was to us. So, we got a great view of his spine and, like, the back of his head. And then he was also doing, like, a profile looking up so you could see the side of his face. But you're still seeing the back side of him. And he had his hand resting on his chin like this and she's like oh how cute look at that and Larry was sitting the same exact way and I was like oh my gosh that is so funny that they were doing that um he was doing a lot of like bringing his hands up and like holding them in front of his face and he was sitting crisscross applesauce so he wasn't wanting to move from that position she said he was being really um chill and I said, yeah, this is his, he doesn't really move at this time of morning. It's usually later in the evenings. He's really, really active. So he did start to move. He rolled over. He looked at us. He had one eye open. <laughs> he was looking, which she got a good picture of. And I don't know, it was just a really fun, cute experience. And we can't wait to meet him. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was cute. And I'm so glad you were finally able to like be a part of an appointment and go and see that. Uh, she was very good with the ultrasound and, and the wand, and he wasn't cooperating at first in, like, the paparazzi, but then, then he kind of warmed up to it, I think. And yeah, he did. Once he knew he was in the spotlight, he kind of started rolling over and bringing his legs up, and he was... Putting on, on a show. Yeah. He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> They're watching. Oh, no cell phones in there, no video cameras, no anything, no no filming inside of the ultrasound area. So that was a no-go. All right, guys, we are we just grabbed breakfast. We have a lot to do. We're running around and doing some stuff. So we did get Wendy's. We just ate that, and now we're running First into Target. First time we ever had a Wendy's breakfast. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Yeah. We're running into Target. I need to get bins because we went through, oh, and we already, we went to Goodwill and we dropped off a lot of donation bags. Um, I went through the closet, the bedroom closet, and I cleared a lot out. So we did a declutter, and then there was some Halloween stuff left over from last year that was just shoved in the closet that needs to be in a bin, and we don't have any bins, so we're going to run into Target and grab a bin, and then we need to make a couple other stops along the way, and then we will be home. We are finally back home. I've just FaceTimed. Well, I called my mom. And she's gonna FaceTime me because she wants to see and hear the update 
on the baby. So I'm gonna let her know how the appointment went and all of that. Meanwhile, I just did a little bit of work on the computer. So there goes my head. <laughs> I'm having a banana. You guys can't see a thing. Hold on, got my big water. Have I told you guys about this water bottle yet? I don't remember if I told them about this yet. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I picked it up at, what's today? Today's Monday. I tell you guys in the Tuesday video, I think this video goes out, I don't even know what day, Thursday maybe. Okay, but not on the time. Oh, I gotta show you guys what we picked up at Target. We picked up a couple of goodies. We picked up the baby some things. And then I got myself a pizza. Look at all these pictures. That's a lot of pictures. So cute. Hopefully my mom will be able to see those little pictures on the screen. Hi, my mom. How are you? I'm good. So I've just enjoyed a delicious coffee and I wanna share it with you guys because you guys know I love coffee. And I have a very fun brand to share with you guys today. It's called Cometeer Coffee who is sponsoring this portion of the video. Cometeer is 100% brewed coffee and then it's flash frozen at its peak flavor and delivered straight to your door. The first flavor is called Fast Forward Nutty Sweet and Creamy. Then we also have Chalbessa, which is notes of strawberry, kumquat, and chamomile. Southern Weather, which is notes of milk chocolates, plum, and candied walnuts. And Mocha Java, yes, which is notes of dark chocolate, almond, and berry. And then last but not least is Manos de, ooh, I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I don't wanna mispronounce it. And this one is notes of chocolate, red apple, and toffee. Hi guys, I wanted to pop in and interrupt this segment for a few seconds, possibly a minute, because I am making a hot coffee today. So I wanted to show you guys this one, and this is the flavor that I have chose. It's the notes of chocolate, red apple, and toffee, which sounds delicious. It is a light roast. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. So if you don't leave it out overnight in the fridge, you can take it and run it under warm water for five to 10 seconds. Plop this in. And it's okay if it's still a little bit frozen, don't worry. And I am gonna add a dash of vanilla creamer to mine. Good mix. Cheers, guys. Very hot. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Mm. Morning coffee is definitely my me time. It's when I can just chill and relax. It's actually the highlight of my mornings. It is the first thing that I love to do when I wake up is make myself a nice hot cup of coffee. Let me know in the comments below if you have like a morning coffee routine and what that is. So you can enjoy these hot, iced, or in the latte form. Cometeer works by sending shipments straight to your door each month with new roasters and new roasts. For a limited time, you can get 40% off your first order plus free shipping. When you use my code MINDY40 at Cometeer.com, if you've been wanting to try Cometeer, now is the time, order now before it is too late. Thank you Cometeer so much for introducing me to your amazing coffee and for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I have a couple of things to share with you guys, which are baby related and then just a couple of other things that I picked up. Oh, I should take you outside and show you guys the pizzas. So you guys know I love the Good & Gather pizza brand from Target. So I did pick up two. One was my arugula and tomato, I believe. And the other one is a four cheese, which I'm really excited about because then I can doctor it up, add whatever else I want to it. So let me show you guys. We have an outdoor freezer now, which is really exciting. Save some space. So the pizzas are actually out here. Oh, it's tomato arugula. Is that what I said? Arugula tomato, but backwards. So I got this one and oh, it's a rising crust. I was wondering why it was so much heavier. And then we have the four cheese pizza rising crust. I've not had the rising crust yet because my tomato arugula, which I love, is a wood fire crust pizza. And I like it because the crust gets really nice and crispy. So we'll see. I might have that for dinner 
tonight and we'll test that out. I have this in my phone. Hold you guys all weird. Oh man, guys, I got a spot right there on my chin, which is so funny because I was just telling you guys in the Q and A that I had done that I could not remember the last time I had a spot <laughs> and then it showed up and I was like, see, that's what happens when you say things like that. <sighs> it was funny. So over on Instagram, I'm going to tell you guys a little baby kick mode or move mode story. Hi, Nina. So I have been feeling baby kick. He kicks more so in the evenings. I've told you guys over on Instagram, but last night, I was lying in bed, we had family day and my mom's friend was in town so we were visiting with her. And then when we went home, I laid down and he was moving so much or the feeling was so much more intense than it ever had been that I actually shot up in bed, like sat up really sharp and was like, oh my gosh. Like that was such a strange, like a really exciting feeling. But there is really nothing you can compare it to and I imagine it's just gonna get more and more intense like the bigger he gets, which is really exciting. But it did startle me. I was like, oh, <laughs> and jumped up. But it was really fun. And it made me so happy. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I even took like a little picture. Oh, it was really cute because I had my shirt kind of like up. So my belly was exposed. And then Lexi's paw was right on it. And it was really cute. So I shared that with you guys on Instagram. So if you already follow over there, then you already know. But for those who don't, I wanted to share it here. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of baby items that I picked up at Target. And I did get the Sophie teething ring. I didn't get the big giraffe, but I did get this. I thought it was really sweet. And then I did pick out, I almost got a different one and I really wanted this one. There's two that I'm leaning towards this one. And then another one that's more of like a really soft wrap, but the wraps can like be intense for me. I'm like, oh my gosh. But I did end up purchasing the Ergo Baby Comfort Omni 360 All Positions Carrier. It's from seven to 45 pounds. It's an all-in-one. So I figured Larry and myself can both wear it. So picked that up for little one. And then the next two things, one of which my mom picked out and the other one my mom's friend picked out. My mom's friend was recently in New York City and she went to the Harry Potter store which you guys know that we've gone to and it was so much fun. So she made me this beautiful card. She makes her own cards. This is so cute. And then look, we have this cute sleeper. It is so adorable. It's all white, it has a little snitch on it. And on the hat, it says little keeper with a Hogwarts letter. It is adorable and I love it. Oh, and the little foot has the Hogwarts crest right there. So she picked up that for him. And then she got him this cute little Christmas outfit. It has a collar, has Hogwarts, and it says a very Hogwarts Christmas, which is also just way too cute. My mom and her were out at some stores and my mom found this and just had to get it. So it is Peter Rabbit and he's so soft. He's big, he's amazing. He's from the movie. We have yet to see the movie but he stands on his own. He's just such a beautiful display <laughs> rabbit. Like look how cute he is. So my mom had to get that for him. Do you see it, Luna? Whoop, he's wobbling around. Um, but yeah, I thought it was so sweet. So thank you mom and mom's friend for all the amazing gifts for little one. But he is really cute. So still no phone call guys on the floors. The materials are still not in. As far as I know, we have received no phone calls. So that's still up in the air. We'll see, I promise I will update you guys once that happens. Oh, and I also got in big trouble with my mom, by the way, because whilst Jackie and Bob were here, I don't usually like call anybody. I usually FaceTime my mom every single morning and I don't do that. I text and check in every day. But when I have guests and visitors and friends and family staying, I'm like off of my phone. I like to give guests and family like my full attention. And so <laughs> I shared on Instagram and Facebook that I felt the baby move for the first time. And my mom had told me previously, she's like, 
I want to know as soon as the baby moves, call me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, great. I will. She found out on social media. <laughs> I forgot to call my mom. I was like, oh no. I mean, I had an excuse, but at the same time, like I didn't want that to happen. And I was like, oh my mom, I'm so sorry. We laughed about it. Like she thought it was funny. Like she was teasing me more so, but still I messed up guys. I failed with that. So I had to update you on that cute little story too. And now guys, I think I'm gonna catch up on some cleaning. I did some work stuff today. It's been a very busy day. I'm quite sleepy today. We were up later than normal last night and we got up really early this morning. So I'm feeling a bit sleepy, but I have lots to do so I wanna keep motivated. So I'm gonna continue sipping on my delicious coffee and water and clean up. So we did purchase a bin. Here's the bin that I got from Target. And that is some of the creepy Halloween stuff that we need to get put in those bins. So I'm gonna work on that and a couple of other things and I will check in with you guys shortly. My apologies in advance. Larry had told me that I had mascara running. Totally forgot, totally filmed with mascara running down my face. And I just went to the bathroom and I was like, oh, <laughs> great. So I filmed probably most of this vlog with mascara or at least a portion of it and it's not coming off. So it's staying there until I wash my face tonight. But anyways, it is going on five o'clock. Larry and I have just popped onto the couch and I just shared our little guy's pictures with you guys on Instagram. So we're currently responding to comments on that. And you guys are so, so sweet. So thank you for that. And we're just resting on the couch. My sciatica has been bad. So I'm sitting here with a heat pack currently on very, very low. And you, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Chilling on the couch, responding to you guys' comments and might pop something on the TV. Oh, we're still watching MasterChef Junior and Outlander. We still are watching Outlander. I'm just gonna say it. I feel like I'm not as thrilled with the new season of Outlander, which is such a shame. Like, I feel bad that I'm saying that. Do you feel that way? I do, and I, th I don't know if it's, I don't think the writing of the show has changed at all, or, or the storyline's still kind of grabbing me, but I right. think it's just the huge gap between when the last season ended and when this one started. And I understand why there was a gap. Right. But I think that might have to have something to do with it for me. Well, I'm thinking it might pick up too, though, because the revolution and all of that is about to begin. So it might pick up. But I also feel like we were in Scotland and, you know, things were, I don't know. I just feel like it was much more of an intense pace and it's a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys are watching Outlander, let me know what you think in the comments below. But we still love the show, still watching it, still want to know what happens. I just feel like I'm struggling with it a little bit this go round. Baby is also kicking. He's moving around. It's the evening. He's most active around this time until bedtime. I have washed my face and done my evening skincare. I just put on Netflix and have just realized that Bridgerton season two is officially out. How did I miss that? says new episodes. I'm gonna start watching Bridgerton season two, episode one. How many seasons or episodes, I mean, are there? One, two, three, four, five, nine, 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 nine. Eight. It looks like eight episodes. I've seen a couple of people posting about it, but I've been so busy. I just kind of was like, maybe it's not out yet. Oh no, it is definitely out. So we're gonna give Bridgerton a watch. Don't mind my hair. Officially headed off to bed. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. It was such an amazing day. We had a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys again very soon in the next vlog. Bye. Do you bye, bye, babe. Bye, babe. When I see the kitties, say goodnight to the kitties. Kitty number one. Hi, Maxie. And kitty number two. Good night, Nuno.